Welcome to Cross Culture New Mexico. I'm your host, Mark Tross. We're continuing our series on the focus of the Holy Spirit, the Trinity of God. Remember, God is holy, God is spirit, but we have three distinct persons in the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We've been talking about Psalm 119, verse 89, and forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. It stands firm as the heavens. We're going to continue today in Matthew in the New Covenant, very first book, Matthew chapter 24, verses 34 and 35. Now the word of the Lord says this, Truly, I tell you, this generation, the whole multitude of people living at the same time in a definite given period. So Jesus is speaking here. He's not speaking on his own. Remember, he didn't ever say or do anything apart from the Father's leadership and guidance. How did he do that? Not by his own might or power, not as man, but anointed by God. Remember, he is the anointed one by the Holy Spirit that descended on him at baptism and rested on him through his entire ministry. Remember, he said, I and the Father are one. They are all three in one. So will not pass away till all these things taken together take place. Place. This is Jesus himself speaking. Verse 35 out of Matthew 24. Sky and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. So what are Jesus' words? You may have a red letter Bible, but God's word, Jesus' word, who is the word, and the Holy Spirit himself who wrote this book when he moved upon men, is living and active today. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he is leading and guiding us. So from Genesis 1, when the Spirit of God hovered over the water, to the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, when Jesus himself says, listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church today, in this day and time. Today he is speaking, as I mentioned in the very first introduction of this series, that he is speaking today through his Son, which is the living Word. The Word is Spirit, and the Word is eternal, everlasting, abundant resurrection life. And also out of Psalm 119, verse 89, First Peter 1, verse, chapter, verse 25, says this, but the word of the Lord, divine instruction, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his resurrection endures how long? Forever. It is eternal. And this word is the good news which was preached to you. Now next time we will talk out of Isaiah 40 verses 6 to 9, which is the old covenant profession of a book that has more messianic prophecies than any other book in the entire Bible. That in this, Peter is saying, this is the fulfillment. The word of the Lord, God in human flesh, Jesus, the spirit man. His divine instruction, the good news about him, endures forever. From the very beginning, remember the first words of the Bible. In the beginning, Jesus is the beginning. And he is the good news, which is being preached to you even now as you watch this video. Join us at crossculturenm.weebly.com, as well as on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social media sites. We'll be back next time with the focus of the Holy Spirit and his leadership, direction, and guidance.